Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we've got a review of Chocolate Orange by Pocket Sense. So, Chocolate Orange by Pocket Sense. It's one that I bought a long, long time ago. Uh, and I never got round to reviewing it. I don't know why I didn't get round to reviewing it. I think there was a couple of reviews out as soon as it first came out. So that might have put me off doing it straight away. But I noticed there's nothing else out there. So, and I love this fragrance. So I thought I'd get this review out there. So presentation, it's quite a minimal sort of bottle, but I do like that bottle design. I love the label on it with the chocolate orange. And then it's got like a black plastic cap and a black atomizer. The sprayer on it is pretty decent. Really good sprayers. Nothing going on anywhere else on the bottle. Look at that color of that juice, it's gorgeous. So it normally comes in one of these boxes. It's one of their any plus ultra boxes which I quite like the design it might be worth trying to like put the name of it on there but what they've done they put labels on the back of each and um, these were the previous boxes I think they used to look like that and it's got the Royal Eden Woods label on the back of that one which is another one which I really enjoy well pocket sensor probably more well known for the inspirations that they do they do a hell of a lot of inspirations but previously they've done a couple of their own fragrances one of them being purple gourmand which was a massive hit and i think everybody that's tried it loves it and another one which was one of my favorites was raspberry and vanilla absolutely amazing they've since gone on to create this chocolate orange they've created a white floral called fleur de gal They've got Oud Opulenza, which is one I want to review in the future. And they've also got one called Cherry Tobacco Reserve, which is one I'm going to review as well. So they have been doing a lot of their own stuff recently. So I think that's six bottles now that they've got of their own stuff. And from speaking to Matt at Pocket Sense, he said they have got more creations coming up. They're still doing more and more inspired versions of different fragrances which a lot of people want but it's good that they're creating their own fragrances as well and every one of them that I've tried even the one which wasn't my taste which was the Fleur de Gal which was like the white floral I could still appreciate the quality in it and how good it was so I think they're doing a great job with these own creations and here's to more and more so price and availability, well I think you can only get this from the Pocket Sense website. I'll put a link on the bottom of the screen and in the description so you can visit it. And for 50ml of Eau de Parfum, you're talking $49.99. So the notes on this as listed on the website are chocolate, orange peel, red chilli pepper and amber. Now I get a bit more than that but we'll discuss that when I go further into the fragrance. So originality, uh, it's very original, it's an own creation. Uh, I can't think of anything that it smells like. There's a few things which I feel it's got similarities to do with, the, I think there's a patchouli note in there, which I pick that up in a, in a few of the Lush products. So that's where I'm comparing this and you're talking things like Lord of Misrule, or karma that's the sort of vibe that i'm getting but i think that's more to do with the way that the patchouli is in there now it might not have patchouli in there but that's what i'm picking up so is it linear well it does change over time and it gets more spicy the further you get into the fragrance projection i'm getting good projection from this two hours plus longevity another one it's not shy on performing, you're getting eight hours plus. So a really good performer, really happy with this one. 
Who to wear it? I would say it's a unisex fragrance. I'm not sure it leans in any direction. I think it's straight down the middle. And it's basically for anyone that loves gourmand fragrances, you'll love this. When to wear it? I would say it's an evening fragrance more so, or, or more of an autumn winter. So when it starts getting a little colder, I think this is when it shines the most. Compliments. Wife and daughter love it. I've had a couple of compliments elsewhere from this. People tend to really like it and they do get drawn in to smell you because of the gourmand quality of it. I, I really enjoy wearing it and I can tell by people's reactions that they really enjoy smelling it. So my overall thoughts, well, you get a punch of dark chocolate and zesty orange straight off the bat with this. Um, the chocolate is quite bitter to begin with, but you would expect that with dark chocolate. That's the sort of thing that dark chocolate does anyway. Um, but then as the fragrance develops, that chocolate turns more powdery. Think of drinking chocolate when you put the powder in your cup, that sort of smell that you're getting from it, but just a bit darker and not as sweet. So I get a feeling there's patchouli in this, as I've mentioned before. Uh, it isn't listed, but I, f I feel as though I'm definitely getting that. As I've said before, there's certain fragrances that I know are patchouli heavy and I love, and I feel as if I'm getting that from this. It's the same sort of vibe, really do enjoy that. So I'm getting a dark chocolate, like more like um, a Terry's dark chocolate. You know the dark chocolate oranges where they come in the shape and they're all breaks off into segments. Now I'm more into the milk chocolate Terry's orange. I don't really try the dark one. I have had a few segments of it before. I really enjoy milk chocolate in food and white chocolate. Dark chocolate isn't normally my bag unless it's um, the Jamaican rum, which I, I really enjoy the dark chocolate mixed with that. But it's great in food, milk chocolate, but in a fragrance, if it had milk chocolate in here, then I think it would turn it way too sweet. So I think it suits it having the dark chocolate in there. I also love chili chocolate. It's one of my things that I really do enjoy. Uh, I'm talking ghost pepper chili in my chocolate. Um, I try it all the time. I use a company called Psycho Juice who produce their own chocolates and I just absolutely love it. So that chili that you're getting from this, it gives it almost like an all spice vibe, um, which really makes the fragrance warm and spicy, really does give it that feel. So if you love chocolate and you love oranges, then you're gonna absolutely love this. I'm a big fan of orange in fragrance anyway. Chocolate, not as much, but I'm beginning to like it more and more and the gourmands seem to be resonating with me more and more the more I try stuff. Is it a hit or miss? Definitely a hit for me. I've really enjoyed wearing it and I can't fault it. Worth the money? I'd say definitely yes. I think it's its own creation, it's niche quality, and it's definitely worth the money. So that's it from me. Hope you've liked the review. Have you tried chocolate orange? Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried anything else from Pocket Sense? Give me a shout below. There's quite a few that I still haven't tried, especially some of the newer ones. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it always helps the channel and I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.